Hi folks, welcome to another video. Um, this time sees me leaving Richmond and heading over to Rubble Hill Viaduct. Today's ride is again in the Great North Yorkshire Dales, leaving Richmond, heading over towards Grinton, Hawes, before hitting Rubble Head. Some great roads as I'll be travelling. Uh, Crosstop is one of them that takes you over, and the B625, the B627. So, a bit about Richmond. Richmond was founded in 1017 by a noble man called Alan Rolf, Rolfus. This was lands granted to him by William the Conqueror. Richmond Castle was completed in 1086, which is the area now known as the Marketplace. Richmond is one of the few settlements that was spared from being raided by the Scots during the Great Raid of 1322. The Elsdon was confirmed on Edmund Tudor. His son later became King Henry VII in 1485. During World War I, Richmond's own Green Howard Regiment raised 24 battalions for the war effort. The troops occupied an area south of Richmond to which is now known as the Catrick Garrison or Catrick Camp. So this sees me now heading towards Grinton. I'll catch up with you shortly. If you have not done so, please like, comment and subscribe. It'd be good to have you along and part of the family. For those who already have, thank you very much. It's great having you help build this channel.
The last time I was on this road was when I was heading out towards Buttertub Pass. That was a great day. Again, the video is up. Please take your time and um, go and have a look at it. The roadworks are still in place. Uh, looks like they're doing some work along the riverbank and So as we make our way to further towards Grinton, here's some information about it. Grinton, or called the Cathedral of the Dales, the church was for centuries the main church for the whole of the Upper Swaledale. Bodies were carried as much as 16 miles down the village along the footpath from Kild, now known as a corpse way. Several large stones located at intervals along the path, traditionally called coffin stones, are said to be where the coffin coffins would have been set down while poor bearers rested. I need to go and have a look for this place and uh, take a walk along it. I might drag Joe with me. Nice day out walking instead of being on the bikes. If, if I've not already mentioned, uh, this is going to be a two-part video. The second part of the video will be taking us from Ribblehead home. Um, so I'll be dealing with that over the next few weeks. At the moment I'm in the middle of preparing to move house again. So that's going to be taking the priority. So this is Swale Hall Lane. Great single track. Some great undulations and great twisties um, a few little hairbends if I remember I did meet somebody um, along the road where he thought I was going to move or what I was going to do was beyond me I wasn't going to roll back very unsafe um, in the end I was as close to the edge as I could and he had plenty of space to come past what was I doing on his road? This is a great track and I'm looking forward to taking Joe along it. Um, hopefully it won't be as busy. Busy? There's only one car. Yeah. So yep, this is the point. As you can see, I've stopped good gap towards the right for him to drive in. But he hesitated. I don't know what he was expecting me to do. I didn't see anything. No communication, no thank you. So I just rode on and carried on enjoying the rest of my day. Enjoy the rest of the video. Um, I'll catch up with you again shortly. Um, like I said, some great undulations along this road. Enjoy it.
so this, this seems to be now deep in the um, Yorkshire Dales heading along to Crosstop the road I've been looking really forward to um, going up it's got a 25 degree bank with a couple of hairpins um, really excited to be going, going over that road the scenery along it is absolutely amazing before that I believe we're going to be passing through Gunnerside a beautiful little village Gunnerside has a working smithery museum which is located in a grade 2 chapel this chapel was built in 1789 and it was reconstructed further on in a later date. A private building to the north in the village was the site of a medieval coal mill. A poet named John Close was born in the village in 1816. So around about five miles away from here we take the cross top. I won't talk, sit back relax and enjoy remember like subscribe and comment
so this is the GoPro 11 mini stopped working I had to revert back to the GoPro 360 for the um, video footage unfortunately it's not as good quality on this because I put the domes on um, big mistake lessons learnt and I won't be doing it again especially um, from, from what I can see now I hope you're still enjoying the video again please like comment subscribe um, it's good to have you along it's good to help the channel build so this sees us pushing still over the cross top heading towards Hawes and then it's a short hop over to Ribble Head Ribble Head Viaduct or Batty Moss Viaduct carries the settle to Carlisle Railway across Batty Moors in the Ribble Head sorry in the Ribble Valley at Ribble Head it's a grade 2 listed structure the viaduct was designed by John Sidney Crossley the chief engineer of the Midlands um, Railway construction began late in 1869 with a workforce of about 2,300 men most of whom lived in shanty towns set up near the base over a hundred men lost their lives during this construction 1874 the last stone of the structure was laid and on the 1st of May 1876 the line was open for passenger service the land underneath and around the viaduct is a scheduled ancient monument. The remains of the construction camp are located there. Even though it, it looked bright and sunny, the temperature was just above 4 degrees. Well, it tipped between 3 and 5. Mind, I still had the heater grips on. Um, it was good ride out. There was one or two bikes um, that I passed, um, so I, wasn't not, I was not the only one out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've watched it all the way to the end. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, help build the channel, for those who already have, thank you very much, much appreciated. So we are not too far away from journey's end on this part, part 2 we'll see us again going from Rubberhead to uh, Richmond or maybe just before Richmond, um, depends on what video capture I have. <coughs> Enjoy the rest of the week or weeks, whatever happens between hand. Um, it's been good having you with me. Thanks very much. 